clusters are now available on Elestio. If you are looking to turbocharge your applications with scalable, reliable and high-performance systems, you've come to the right place. But what exactly are clusters and why do they matter? A cluster is a group of servers working together to manage workloads, ensure redundancy and deliver unmatched reliability. Clusters are designed for high availability, using primary and replica nodes to eliminate downtime and keep your systems running smoothly. They tackle critical challenges like service interruptions and scalability limitations, while also boosting performance. Whether you are powering a small app or a global platform, clusters on LSTO ensure your system stays secure, resilient and always online. Here is the current lineup you can deploy in minutes with Elestio. It includes relational databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, and Timescale DB, high speed key value stores like Redis, Valky, and KeyDB. For analytics, ClickHouse and OpenSearch, identity management with Keycloak, and NADN for workflows. To create your first cluster on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then, on the left sidebar, go to the clusters and deploy my first cluster. Here is the current lineup. You have PostgreSQL, Redis, Timescale DB, N8N, RKE2, Vault, and more to come in the future. For this simple demo on how to set up one, let's choose PostgreSQL, select, same settings as usual when we want to create a service. We can choose a cloud provider, a region and a service plan based on our needs. Then go to next. You can adjust more advanced settings and you have this fourth step, which is the cluster configuration. We will have one primary node and we can choose the number of replicas we want. Let's choose one, which results in one primary node and one replica node. Then you can choose between the different level of supports. And once you are good, hit the create cluster button. Once your cluster setup is ready, you will receive this email and you should see your cluster in the clusters list on your LSTO administration panel. Let's open it. And what we can see is that we have two nodes, one primary, one replica. And now if we look at our service, which is Postgre, if we want to open the database admin, we can click on display DB credentials which is if we want the connection string to use in our project, this URL, it will always point to the primary one. We can also use pgadmin, display admin UI. Let's copy the password to our clipboard and open it. From there, type your email and type the password from your clipboard and log in. Then let's open our database, go to databases. If at any point you need a password or the username for the database, you can get them from here. First, we can see that in replica nodes, we have one that is in standby right now. Let's go into the schemas. Inside the public, let's create a table. Let's name it articles. And then let's change the columns we can add one that is named ID. We will choose a UUID. It will be our primary key. Then we can add a title. We can choose character varying with a lens of 255. And OK, let's save it. Now we want to add data inside it. What we can do is view edit data, all rows. Currently, it's empty. We can click the plus button to add a row. The ID, I will keep it to null. And the title, blog article one. OK, I should have set a default UUID, but let's keep it like this. And blog article two. OK, now let's save it. Save data changes. It doesn't like the empty ID. Let's set a valid UUIDs here and another one here and now we should be able to save okay perfect and if we run the select we now have our two articles very basic some data in a postgresql database now what we want to do is to check that the data is on the replica 
How do we access it when you are inside a cluster on LSGO? You go to the nodes and you can see this one is the primary and this one is the replica. So let's open it. And for this node, we can access its own Postgre admin. You can see here that in the URL, this is the second one, which is based on our node. Copy the password, open it. Now again, our email password on the left, servers, local. We need our password, go to display DB credentials and copy it, paste it and OK. Go inside databases, Postgre, schemas, public. And if we go inside tables, you can see we have our articles table. Let's choose view, edit all rows. And we have successfully the data from the primary node, while now we are only on the replica, which means if the primary node is down, the data is still available to our users without any downtime. And of course, if ever it happens, one of the replica will become the master node. Let's head back to our cluster and let's see the different operations we can do on it to manage our cluster. So we decided to go easy with it, having only one primary and one replica. But if at some point your needs grows, your products grows and you need bigger infrastructure, you can do multiple things, adding nodes, by clicking here on add nodes, continue. And when you add a node, you can choose, for example, to choose a different cloud provider while sticking to the same region, if all your users are in the same region, by having a node in one cloud provider and another in another cloud provider, you reduce the risk that one provider is entirely down. If ever your users are spread worldwide, you could choose different regions to maximize the speed over different regions. And also, you don't need all your nodes to have the same specs. You can have tiny ones or very powerful nodes based on if it is the primary one or the replica one. To discover all the different operations you can perform on our clusters, you can check our documentation to have a tutorial based on anything you want to do. We have seen together how you can add a node, remove a node, or promote a node. Let's check how the backups and the restores work. And our documentation explains how it works and where to find the different options. For some advanced use case, you might need to have multi-master, which is not available for all software, but some supports it, such as MySQL or KeyDB. We have dedicated articles to explain to you how to achieve it. Thank you for watching. If you need help or have any questions, you can join our Discord community. Link in the description. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.